All right, guys, welcome to another edition of Custom NHL Builds, the series where I create EASHL player builds based off of actual NHL players. This week, we're going to do our first St. Louis Blue and our first two-way defenseman build, and it's going to be the captain and pending UFA, Alex Petrangelo. That's right. Uh, say it with me here, guys. Petrangelo. Very good. Very good. So this is one I've wanted to do for a while as Petro is one of the most balanced defensemen in the league and is your prototypical two-way D-man and just one of the, the most consistent D-men in the league. He's pretty much always been at the fringes of the Norris conversation, never at having actually won the trophy, but usually putting up a 40 to 50 point pace every season of his career, eating around 25 minutes per night, playing on the PK and the power play, routinely scoring 10 to 15 goals a season, and just playing excellent shutdown defense. Whether the Blues re-sign him or he goes to another team, he's going to get a significant raise as he's basically everything you want a top pairing D-man to be, and he's a right-handed shooter. So let's take a look at how that's reflected in this build. At 6'3", 210 pounds, he's bigger than your average defenseman, but not huge. Like I said, he's a right-handed shot. I went ahead with Booming Slapper 2 for his primary trait to give him a respectable slap shot. Truthfully, in real life, his wrist shot is every bit as good as a slapper. I just think in this game, a slap shot is more valuable uh, as a defenseman, so I opted to boost that and make him a more legitimate threat as a shooter. I then went with Laser Passing 2 as he's a great stretch passer and playmaker. I almost wanted to give him Stretch Passer as the specialty, but I instead went with the back skating specialty, and I'm going to explain why I did that. So with other bigger defensemen I've played with, uh, that maybe don't have impressive skating stats. I'm thinking my Brent Burns build, my Shea Weber build. One of the biggest issues with them is transitioning from skating forward to skating backwards. So in order to play effective defense, you really need a guy who can transition quickly from skating forward to skating backward. Otherwise, you're just going to get beat when there's neutral zone turnovers or you just need to adjust which way you're facing to close a gap or intercept a pass. Since Petrangelo is a great backwards skater and plays plus defense, and this build doesn't have the best skating stats, I felt this was pretty necessary to replicate the way that he plays. Right away, one of the best things about this build is his physicality. Petrangelo himself, despite how big he is, doesn't really tend to play an aggressive physical game, but with his size, you can definitely play that way. This is great for playing your corners, defending the front of the net, stepping up at the blue line, or pinching in the offensive zone to force turnovers. That physicality is but one of his strengths in the, in the defensive zone. So that big frame gives him great reach on his poke checks and stick lifts that's going to drive opponents crazy. His big frame is great at blocking shots, and that reach also allows him to snatch up loose pucks in front of the net. His skating is pretty average, I will say. Uh, but that back skating specialty does exactly what I hoped it would. Not only is he able to keep up with other skaters, but it enhances his two-way play. He can hop up and take risks in the, in the neutral or offensive zone and just get back into position easily on defense without missing a beat. I also think that size and reach makes up for a little bit of his skating uh, shortcomings. Uh, really helps him pick off passes uh, even when he's a little out of position. The shot to me is really just average as well. Uh, I didn't score many goals with this build. Occasionally I would just miss the net from distance or I just wouldn't have enough power on the shot to really get through or be a true threat from the blue line. So overall I'd say this build is incredibly balanced. Uh, I've actually played several league games with this build and I never once felt overmatched or incapable when using it. I'd say he's your ideal sixes defenseman and pairs well with basically any other defense build. I even have used him uh, in EASHL 3s, and while he might be a little slow for that mode, definitely lacks the hands necessary to get uh, creative with all the open ice available in 3s, he's still a capable option there as well. This is a build I definitely will be using in the future, as he's just got all kinds of upside on offense and defense, and just doesn't really have many holes in his game. So anyway guys, that's my Alex Petrangelo build. St. Louis, please pay this man. He's got one of those skill sets that I think, you know, he's such a smart player. I wouldn't be surprised if he's still putting up 40 points like five years from now. And hey, 
I think he could even be like a Mark Giordano type who blossoms into a Norris Trophy winner late in his career. Anyway, that's the end of my rant. Um, let me know what player you guys would like me to build in the future. I'll do my best to get to work on those. If you like this video, definitely be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next one.